Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. You know, I've been thinking about this before I even decided to do this video, and uh, I felt like talking about this. And what are we talking about here? Well, is PC really a great platform for 4K gaming? Should you buy a PC just for the 4K gaming? Well, here's the thing. Yes, there's a way for you to achieve 4K at 60 FPS. Uh, there are very expensive graphics cards out there you can get. But it's still not a smooth experience. Uh, and one example, it's right here. Here I am with this game, Kingdom Deliverance, Kingdom Come Deliverance. And in order for me to reach even 50 frames per second, uh, let's say 55 frames per second, let alone 60, I still had to reduce all of my graphical settings to lowest, to low, just to achieve a 4K resolution. In my honest opinion, I don't think it's worth the price of the admission to just invest into playing 4K games on PC. Because 4K gaming on the PC, it's really not there yet. You're not getting that smooth 60 FPS uh, frames per second. You're not getting that smooth gameplay on, on the PC. And if you want to get that 60 FPS 4K on the PC, you're really going to have to be looking something around $3,000, maybe even higher. Uh, you're going to have to go with the RTX 2080 uh, Ti. You're going to have to go with some ridiculous memory RAM, uh, probably i9 processor or something like that, uh, with like 64 gigs of DDDR4 RAM, on, on, on board memory RAM, SSD drive, the whole shazang, okay? It's just going to cost you a lot of money. And still, even with all that stuff, there's no guarantees that it's going to, you know, be a smooth experience. However, to me personally, PC in 1440p, it's definitely something you want to invest. Uh, 1440p, you can easily achieve with 1070, 1080. Easily, you can get that smooth experience. And I think... Uh, PC for QHD 1440p, it's a great deal. But to me, honestly, the only reason I have a PC, it's because I use it as a personal computer. What do I mean by that? I mean I use it for the work here. I use it so I can capture the footage, this footage, the Xbox One X, PlayStation 4 Pro footage, so I can use my virtual reality, stuff like that, and among other uh, programs that I use as well so to me PC it's a personal computer but as far as 4k gaming it's just not there yet guys it's not a smooth experience I'm not saying that you can't reach 60 FPS with the ultra settings on uh, PC but it's gonna cost you arm and leg it's gonna cost you a lot of money just to reach that 4k 60 on uh, PC so PC currently, it's not a smooth 4K experience. I would say you should think about PC for 1440p. And 1440p 120 hertz is honestly the best way to experience PC gaming. Uh, majority of PC gamers, they're gaming on a 244 hertz monitors with 1440p resolution. They're not even thinking about 4K. And I'm giving you that one example. Here I am. I barely, I barely hit uh, 50 frames per second, and I'm on the lowest settings, and I barely hit 50 frames per second. And it's not just this game. I've tested uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I tested a bunch of games. It's not just this game. I tested. Uh, what else did I test? bunch of other games as well even with Forza Horizon 4 I was having difficult time hitting that 60 FPS on 4k I had to lower all my settings and whatnot I was never getting that smooth experience the only way you can get that smooth experience is by lowering 
your uh, ambient occlusion, lowering your volumetric light, uh, all your textures to the lowest. But then what's the point, right? You know, yes, you're going to have that nice high resolution detail in native 4K. And yes, you're going to have uh, 60 frames per second. But still, you're not getting the... You're not getting that fidelity of graphics, you know, that, that you're meant to. And don't even get me started, people who talk about RTX using the uh, ray tracing. Are you kidding me? You're going to put ray tracing on with 4K? You'll be lucky if you get even 28 frames per second, man. You know. And those cards are super expensive. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What is your experience? My experience with PC, it's mainly for virtual reality simulations. Uh, of course, capturing <clears throat> this 4K footage so you guys can see it in a 4K60. And also capturing the footage from the Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro comparisons, which I'm going to start doing tomorrow. But... Other than that, I wouldn't say that PC, it's something you should be looking to in terms of 4K60. You know, I really would just, uh, I wouldn't recommend that you go into buying a PC or building a PC simply because you want to achieve 4K60 uh, frames per second. You're never going to achieve that 4K60 frames per second with everything turned on with the ultra settings okay Me, the reason being is because developers don't know what your specs are everyone has different specs and there's always going to be that bottleneck between your graphics card and your cpu etc etc your motherboard and then windows 10 you know which is another major bottleneck you know so i think if you're going to be buying a pc for gaming you can go the cheaper route. You can go with a 1070. You can go with a 1080 now. They're getting cheaper. And you can just stick to QHD. Get yourself a 244 hertz monitor. QHD, 244 hertz monitor from Asus or Acer or what have you. And then, or Dell, and enjoy the gaming in 244 hertz. QHD. Majority of gamers, PC gamers, this is not coming from me, this is coming from majority of PC gamers that I met and they all told me, listen bro, we don't even think about the 4K. We only think about the QHD 244 hertz and that's how you want to game on your PC. It's 244 hertz QHD and uh, I happen to agree. I think that's the best way to game. It's on a 244 hertz QHD. But then again, you know, everyone has different opinions about this. Uh, I would like to hear what you guys think. What are your opinions on this? Um, so this is why I tell people, you know, Xbox One X, it's really a great deal for 500 bucks. And for those of you who bought it for 400 you're lucky. You got a really good deal. Why? Because... It really does a lot of good things well, and it does 4K really well. It does HDR and 4K really well. In some cases, we, we get to see games running in native 4K 60 FPS. And uh, on top of that, you got yourself built-in 4K player that's already inside the Xbox One X. On top of the Dolby Vision and HDR streaming. Uh, and I'm pretty sure future Dolby Atmos will be included. That's something to think about the Xbox One X. You know, uh, I I now realize that it's a really a great, great machine and a great deal for the money when you look at the value that you're getting from that console. Well, let's not leave out PlayStation 4 Pro as well. PlayStation 4 Pro does a, a really good job rendering the checkerboard 4K, dynamic resolution 4K and HDR. So let's not kind of leave out the PlayStation 4 Pro in there as well. I think you're better off, if you're looking for 4K gaming, I think you're better off with the consoles than you are with the PC. But if you're looking for QHD 1440p with 244Hz 
that's the best way to play it. I've been playing a lot of QHD 244 hertz games, uh, like Battlefield 5. Maybe I can show you some footage one of these days. And believe me, man, it's uh, like totally immersive experience. It brings me back to that old feeling of, of PC gaming, like Quake. Uh, you know, I, be, I played a lot of Quake back in the days. So, but right now, is it ready for 4K? And you know what? I'm not alone on this. Jay-Z will tell you this. Linus Tech Tips will tell you this. Other PC gamers out there will tell you this. Uh, I don't think I'm alone on this. They will tell you that right now, currently, uh, PC 4K gaming, if you're building a PC rig simply for the 4K gaming, uh, I think you're uh, making a mistake. I think you should only build a PC for a little bit cheaper price and just stick to 244 hertz QHD monitor. Stick to QHD 244 hertz, man. Honestly, that's that's what I recommend. It's probably the best decisions that you can make right now. What is this here? Can I enter this? Is there anything here? Oh. I think. But anyway, what do you guys think? Please do let me know on the comments down below. But uh, I do have to send you guys a warning. Please be civil, okay? Uh, respect each other's uh, opinions. This is my channel, my rules. Uh, everyone's opinions should be respected. You don't have to agree to someone else's opinions, but you can respect their opinions by being very courteous and... and nice if you're gonna start using some harsh words dropping a bunch of f-bombs and and s and all these other nasty words if you start doing that if you're being a dick you're gonna be treated like a dick and I'm gonna have to block you I'm not gonna give you any warning I'm just gonna block you in half a second and out you go so please please be very respectful to each other okay thank you so let me know what you guys think. Give me your opinions. And uh, I'm going to catch you later, guys. By the way, this is Kingdom Come Deliverance, just in case you guys are wondering. And um, I never finished this game. Uh, I, I really thought about maybe doing a live stream. But the thing is, this is a very, very uh, long game. Uh, and it's a huge game. And maybe one of these days, I'll, when I get a time, when I get a chance, maybe I'll do a live stream. Maybe I'll finish it. I don't know. So uh, we'll see. Like I said, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. What are your thoughts on this? And um, as I said uh, earlier, please be peaceful. Uh, respect each other's opinions. Okay, if you can't respect someone else's opinions, be prepared to be blocked. Okay? You don't have to agree with the, their experience and their opinions. They don't have to agree with your experience and your opinions. Okay, or they don't have to agree with your preference. But you guys can respect each other's opinions. That's all I ask. Just respect each other's opinions. And if you can do that, then be prepared to be blocked. I will not allow that kind of nonsense and that kind of sh shenanigans happening in my chat room. All right, and happening in my comment sections. So, uh, having said that, I'll catch you guys later. All right, have a good one. Take care. Cheers.